The Southern Kings are rollicking their way through Division 3 and into the second leg of fixtures. They hold a commanding lead at the top of the table. Today, they meet Biarritz for the second time this season. The first of the meeting wasn't good for the sweet home side. It was a 38-0 thrashing. The Kings will be hoping for more of the same tonight as well. Hello everyone and welcome on to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby 18 and the Kings of Rugby career mode. You see our side on screen now, it's pretty much status quo for the remainder of the season thanks to our disappearing lone players but we are quickly underway Kings of Rugby in the black and it's Biarritz in the white as Beertel touches the ball for the first time in the match and Danny Kerr has a bit of a scramble to the left hand side Brooks will play scrum half and the Kings going slightly backwards for doing anything too exciting is Rico Yuani box kicks this off his left foot too, but looks at that. And into touch for uh, Biarritz lining out throw. So an unconvincing start for the Kings with 38 to nil. Is about as convincing as you get in these divisional matches. It's a line out for Biarritz. They go nice into the back and they go straight back to the scrum half. They look to spin it into the back line, but it's stop the flat ball. One out rugby. Straight to the flank. It could be a turnover. It is. Danny Care goes to no one. Henderson picks up. And now they look out wide to Matt Banahan, who's chopped down at the ankles. Pick and go here from Care. He fires his Carter. 9 and 10 combining. Carl Sinclair looks deep as they change directions. Charging run through one. And an intercept to Boop. And away will go Biarritz. They could open up the first try. But the ball is intercepted. An advantage for a knock on. Let's see where that knock on was. Wow, I, I I couldn't even tell you who made that knock on. We're picking for a scrum and Biarritz have the ball. Wow, it's off the Kings of Rugby. But imagine that Crouch. attempted intercept passes are where it's come from. But it's an area of the game that's the Kings of Rugby excelling. They'll look to compete here. And the eight-man shove. And try and win this ball back. Here is at the back. Biarritz back goes forward slightly, but now it's getting driven heavily backwards. It is there for Kier, and he'll hack it away off the back of the scrum. Does he get a pass to covering winger? And he'll look to counter take his way back. Goes straight to Rico Yolani. What I want the fullback. Leaves Pants out for us. And almost oh. goes all the way. And once again, Denny Kier's got the ball again. He box kicks. This time it's the fullback. Now he's going to try run it back. Oh, heavy shot. And turned over again from Kier. Here is Kondohisa. Not really what he intended to do there. And all his blood tackles broken. Scott Williams with a poor effort. And Danny Kier gets it back once more. This time it lose the defenders. And the ball bounces around. Carter chases. Carter tackles. And Rico not required. Now the Kings of Rugby are up into the second to the half. And they have advantage on their side. And Carl Sinclair is finding room out there. Kieran Brooks on the shoulder. Still advantage of the Kings. They've gone nowhere with the ball in hand. As they strike it up towards the halfway line. A little chip at the top. His advantage is called. And the Kings take it to ground. We are at Sing off the ball for yet another phase. And they go short and they go straight to a Manami as well. It's a good effort. But Dan Carter equal to it. Here is Kieran Brooks. And he sparks the Kings. Oh, he's lost the goal. has been turned over. And they retaliate straight through the number eight who loses it. But it's picked up nicely. And Biarritz hang on yet again. They are playing very well. The Kings playing a bit more defensive than they're used to. And they're getting a bit desperate on the defensive front. And here's a penalty. Offside is the call. And Biarritz kick for touch. And they kick a beauty as well. It looks to be about 10 metres out. And there's plenty of white in the crowd. For some reason, we're looking at that a bit more than anything else. They are a good 10 metres or so out. 12, if you want to give them a little bit extra. The Arrets with the chance of a lifetime to get one early. Up against the Kings of Rugby. And they go to the middle. And they do very well. A good tackle. Drives them backwards slightly. They go flat. 
and they keep it alive for the big boys. Who may lose the ball, they have lost it, as Danny Kier's got it back. Now they look out, oh, intercepted! Ibanambi had been a hand right there. There was a try for every dollar in the bank. Running away is Kier, great ball again to Ibanambi. And on the left, oh, no, another intercept, the third in quick succession. Benahan was away. The Kings of Rugby are having a devastating period here of possession. Sinclair pops off nicely to Rico Iwani. Now they break away. It's taken a while, but it's finally come the way of the Kings. It is Rico all alone. And he's chopped down in a good tackle here. Danny Kier sparks the next phase. And oh, and Benami does very well. It's come out to Carter. Carter sides through. Carter kicks all. It's charged. And Carter was cantering towards the try line. It's here again for Kieran Brooks, who runs sideways. And oh, he's lost it, Brooks. And it's picked up yet again from Biarritz. And still we sit nil-nil as we head towards the halftime break. Who would have thought this will be the scoreline? After a 38 0 thrashing in the first meeting between these sides, kicked away off the base of the rock, and Benahan has a couple of swipes at it for straightening up and straightening through the two defenders, busting his way up towards halfway. It's quickly there for Kerr, and Kerr busts so close by! Gets up to the 10 meter line, Scott Hingerbotham, what a terrible run there from the Australian number eight, Carter. The way to Bo, Bo, shrinks out of one, slides out of a second. Good streak there from Tommy Bo. Here's Kier, it's advantage to the Kings as Rico finds him all the way through. Down the left side, he's taken out. And another advantage here with the Kings of Rugby. Popping it inside to Scott Williams as they still struggle to find a way here into the BRS try line. Advantage is over, just popped off quickly, they're going backwards at a rate of Nazi and Banami finds a little hole and gets them back over halfway. Oh, it's lost! Biaris get it back! And the Kings do not look impressed. 40 minutes is up. Neither side want to go to half time because they think they've got the advantage. It's kicked away and they missed a couple of ugly tackles. And back there is Charles Piatel who can make things happen, Piatel. He busts one. And the crowd are up. The Kings are going to play on now. It's Johnny Gray. Oh, a big man at all tackle there on Gray. It's out to Rico Iwani. Now he cuts him up again. He had all the room of the world there, Rico. Rico going for the corner. Iwani putting in a little bit of a chip over the top. He looks to regather as well. It's a big chase. One black jersey and all the whites out there. And it has not gone the way of Rico. benahan has got it back and he's... Charging forward is Matt Benahan still going. Gets it away to Gray to Ibanami near the 22 and it's been stolen. And away it come Biarritz yet again. Half time has gone a million times over and it's looked like they've had enough now. Ian Henderson hacks it into touch. Neither side able to breach the defense of the other. And we go to the sheds <laughs> unbelievably as nil. Nil. The only stat with any real numbers next to it are tackles. And it's Biarritz with 27. The Kings of Rugby with 20. One scrum and that went to the Kings after Biarritz put the put in and it was turned over. Other than that though, it has been a real 22 to 22 battle with neither side able to put the finishing touches on any moves. It's a close one. It's a tight one. And the Kings... Well, they may be getting a bit concerned getting into the second half. They did not put any points on Biarritz. Daniel Carter hardly talked about him in today's fixture. And he's kicking his back underway with a very good kick. Very high and it just goes to 10. And a great tackle as well. Almost puts him quickly to death. It's a short play and Brooks makes a great tackle. And the Kings looking to make an early turnover, but busting through the middle. In the midfield, there's the turnover. They go a little bit forward, and they lose position. Williams breaks the line, goes to Rico Iwani, who's trying the cross-field kick to come his way. And Biarritz survived yet again. It seems like they're going to cross-field kick for the Kings. is Tommy Bow. Oh, this is brilliant, Tommy Bow. And behind the defence again, the kick is well charged down. 
Now it's kicked from the big man, the loose head prop, having a stab as Charles Piantel returns one and looks to chase his kick down. Oh, almost intercepted. This is quite remarkable, I have to say. Neither side have really given anything on defence. Everyone having a go. Kieran Brooks trying to lead his team from the front. He's got the number one. He's trying to be number one. There's an offside penalty as well. They, oh, they want it. And it will be stolen here by Biarritz with advantage. It's to the side of the Kings. And would you believe it, we are still nil-nil. Could this penalty make any sort of difference for the Kings of Rugby? Dan Carter looking for every inch. Oh, he's bowled it. He's put it far too deep. And a gift from Biara. It's actually run it back. Well, well, well. They should have put that down and we could have been going the long way back with a line-out to, with a scrum, I should say, to Biara. It is, in fact, a line-out, but to the Kings. And, well, it's a decent nudge as well. It's still a 10 meter line. So, and Biara's half of the field, it's to the front and Danny Kerr this is a band from Kerr breaking straight off the back of that line out, there's a flat one away to Bo, quickly distributes it out to Matt Banahan, Matt Banahan's the behind, Matt Banahan will score surely, the attempt is late and it's a try saver as well popping it out to Daniel Carter and he's over for the try Dan Carter puts on another clinic on how to score close to the line. How to beat a defender for pace. Excellent work from Banahan. He just about did enough. Carter gets it flat and he takes a defender over the line with him. And then throws the ball on the fullback's head. That was superb. Matt Banahan has taken a huge amount of credit. But it was a quickly recycled ball. Not letting that defence regather its momentum, regather its shape. And from there, Dan Carter is one of the most dangerous men in world rugby. And the Kings, after almost an hour, finally crack the line. This becomes an important kick as well with the score only 5-0. And from right in front, Carter adds the extras and it's 7 points to nil. A far cry. From the 38 we've seen last time from these two sides. Here is Benahan again. Oh, he's so good, but he's lost it. And it's turned over back to Biarritz. And the loose head prop has a bit of a run. It's tight burn of all people kicking and finding grass too. That is superb from Burn. And the chase of Benahan. Sublime. It's there for Denny Kerr. Away to Benahan eventually from Sinclair. And kick ahead from Benahan. The chase is one on one. It's close. But it is taken by the Biarritz defender. Did he carry that back? I'm not sure, but I think it was kicked in goal. So 22. It is a 22. And it's a deep 22 as well. Down to one of the most dangerous men in this game. Oh, Piantel. Smashed as he spun through one. Here, out to Bo. And that's a terrible, terrible attempt to run there from Bo. And it's been lost. Biarritz get it back. And they have to work as well as, oh, they're going to maul it. What a bunch of mugs. Let's get some little numbers in there, boys. Goodness me, even Rico's jumped in there. That's a bit of a concern. We'll try to spin it around towards the touchline. Give ourselves an open edge to defend on. Oh, you've got to use it, idiots. Here we go. Now they've got to use it. They go out and Carter tries to take on that first line of attackers coming in. It's a challenge here. And they could be turned over. It is. It's back for Kerr. Well played on the breakdown from the Kings of Rugby. Now wide to Rico Iolani. Rico breaking through all sorts of tackles. He looks for a little chip over the top. He's really been covered well by the fullback. He comes back to Ian Henderson, who's kicking across. He really messed that up. Looking for the winger. Oh, it's almost intercepted a couple of times. Trying to do the fancy here, the Kings, without doing the basics. It's a run away up towards halfway. Almost a turnover. Tide Byrne was right there. He's a danger. How good was it having Sam Underhill in the squad, though? Last round against Gloucester. Nowhere to go here for Biarritz, although that's a superb run. 
Getting over halfway. Carter Shard is on the line of defence. Turnover here for Kier. Now what can they do? The Kings have been so ineffective. It's been almost hard to watch. Here's Kier. Oh my goodness me! Turned inside out. Carter has been wiped out. Watch this. Wow! That's almost a punch. Goodness gracious, that is huge. Is 80 minutes up? I know it's going to get that option for... It is. Wow, how long has 80 minutes been up for? I don't even know. Carter's having a shot at goal. It is only 7-0. What a game. To make it 10 and to deny Biara to the bonus points. Carter steps up. It's in line. Has it got the legs? It does. Wow. What a humongous kick from Daniel Carter. And he signals the end of this match with a power of a kick from 55 metres out. The Kings of Rugby were tested. Defensively, they were well and truly tested. But BR has offered very little in attack and opportunities only from intercepts, giving them any chance of getting into this match. Well, one stat we always look at as a gauge of how this match went is the tackle count. And we always say, if the Kings dominate, it's about 30-odd to 5. If the Kings are matched, it's normally fairly close. So we can see today, 40 to 36. Biarritz making just four more tackles than the Kings of Rugby. That means that they have well and truly turned up for a game of rugby here tonight. One try to Dan Carter. One conversion to Dan Carter. One penalty to Dan Carter. It was all the Carter show as the Kings struggled to a victory over Biarritz. Biarritz are really showing their credentials to being possibly a challenging side in this division in future seasons. Putting up to a test there against Gloucester, only four points behind. But it's the Kings of Rugby who jump into the 30s and with a 12-point lead now over the second-place Gloucester and still them to play as well in their final game. You'd imagine the Kings have this one wrapped up. Pupignon is next up, and you can see by the tally or the rankings on the left there, they are the worst-performing side in the league. And, of course, we smoked them last time when we played them. Where are they? Uh, Pupignon were away. It was 38-0 as well. Not much of a gauge, though, as we just witnessed a 38-0 turn into a 10-0. Um, against Biarritz. But uh, Brubignon next, and we have Grenoble, who really challenged us. I think 13-0 was that score in the first league. And then, of course, to close out the season, our 10th and final match against Gloucester. Uh, money still the same. The situation with the team is still the same. As far as I'm aware, we'll have a look, but no one has returned. No, no one's come back. Uh, the Fafitas. Um, who else do we have there? I can't remember half the players anymore that we've lost. Um, of course, oh, we lost Cam Pagnaro as well. Cam pagnaro has gone. Um, that's why Tommy Bow is in midfield. Uh, who else did we lose? We lost someone. No, back row is still there. Second row is still there. Uh, we lost the prop as well. I can't remember who it was. Sean Cronin, our reserve hooker, we've lost as well. Oh, a whole pile of players have departed us, which is a real shame. Uh, we did pick up these two idiots who um, we didn't even want, but somehow they've become... Um, well, full-time players of the Kings. So how that works, I'm not sure. But the team will remain the same. We won't really use this bench because it's pretty average um, now that we've lost those good players. So this will be the team that will take us through to, hopefully, Division 2. But that is it for today. The Kings rugby picking up a number one, a close one against Biarritz. And next up, we travel back home to face the bottom of the table Young. Hope to see you all there for that one. Hope you're enjoying the Kings Rugby series as well. And I'll see you for our next match. Until then, thanks for watching. And as always, take care.